What's up, guys? Good morning. Good morning. What's up? Okay, so today is going to be a good day. It's in the air. Girl, it was in the alarm clock because I didn't need one this morning. I woke up like 30 minutes early, which was enough time to get these lashes on. Perfect. Well, somewhat perfect, I think. Yeah, right? Mm. Girl, I don't even know. But listen, it is early. It is 7.14 a.m. I just dropped Mumsy off to school. The bun piece always sticks a piece of hair. I don't even care. Because what did I just say? Today's going to be a good freaking day. Picture me folded, what? never that boy. Can't lead a kill without the drugs and the cap boy. No. If I wouldn't see neck, baby, yeah, that's on my back, boy. Get ear to the max, boy. Finny, that's a fact, boy. I'm from a place where it's dark outside. The late nights, you can't walk outside. Bullets got the names on them. Hit you when your homeboys ride. As your mom shed a tears and she wondering why. Uptown double H, man, it's be the five. MP in the cut, yeah, we get it live. Ayy. Moses can't go to any hood, but it's connect shump could, baby shump hella good, baby. Okay, a Fab MPY used to be uh -huh. Page Street, we was right next to JB. Yeah. Hot box, not the Pontiac, talk couldn't see. And it's like that we live, man, it's full of sin. So we cope with the pain, bottle with a gin. Hey, New York brim, fresh corn, red Tim. Dice games on the corner, can't play if your pocket's slim. Hey, can't play, boy, never him. And don't play the game if you ain't trying to win. I'm just trying to change my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to turn my L's to 100. Yes, we are moving. Two new tires rolling. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Super great note. Super great note. So what we gonna have today for school? This a great. Super great day. Yes, you gonna be good. I huh? Yes, my please. Yep, and then after school, what are we gonna do? Ice cream. Ice cream, yes. Every Friday, we go for ice cream. After school, me, Tinky, and JJ. Because that is my way of rewarding them for having a super great week in school all week. Getting into no trouble, doing all their work. You know, the school is not calling my mom. Hey. Super great day. And they love it. They love it. They love it. You know, I should give me some ice cream today, right? What do you yeah. think? Yeah. You think I should get some with y'all? Yeah. Because I have yet to get any ice cream. So I think maybe I'll get some sherbet. I love sherbet. Rainbow sherbet, orange sherbet, any kind of sherbet. I love sherbet. However, I do like ice cream too. Butter pecan. It's delish. I love butter pecan. Also, I love fireworks, but they don't got that here because that's only at Stewart's Ice Cream Shop and they don't have no goddamn Stewart's out here on the West Coast. I love Stewart's in New York. They had the best ice cream. Go there and get some gas, go in and get some smokes or whatever you're going in the store for. And they have their Stewart's Ice Cream. Oh man, you can either buy it already in you know, a package or they scoop you some. I used to love to get fireworks. It was so good. But in New York City, it's Mr. Softy. And they don't even got that here either. They have these ice cream trucks. I swear to God, it looks like you're about to be kidnapped out here. They're not even ice cream trucks. They they they, they like cargo vans um, transformed, okay, into ice cream trucks. And it's not even ice cream that comes out of a machine. It's the ones that are already packaged up. You can go to the grocery store and buy you know, so I don't really care for that ice cream. I can go to the grocery store and buy that. That takes the whole fun out of the ice cream man. Man, I remember living in New York City. I would chase the ice cream man down, okay? I would chase the ice cream man down. You could ask my mama. I was in the projects, the PJs. I was in the PJs running after the ice cream man. Pregnant. Mr. Softy, I hear you. I hear you, Mr. Softy. You need to stay in front of the building a little bit longer. That would be me. Sometimes my mom would stop them for me. But yes, out here, I mean, they have the little ice cream dingling sounds or whatever you call that, chiming sounds. But it's, they, ain't, they ain't serving you no fresh ice cream out the damn machine. It just takes the whole fun out of it. You guys have an amazing day. Whenever you're watching this, you want to tell them to have an amazing day? Have an amazing day. Have an amazing day. 
you gonna show them your toothless self. Look at his little toothless self. You know, that's cute for kids to have missing teeth, but for grown-ups, that's not cute. Like, if I had missing teeth, which I do, I would not be showing them off like you are smiling, but your little gummies showing. But if it were me, like yeah, your gums, your gums, your gums are showing, man. Yeah. Now, if that were me, I wouldn't be on here smiling. I mean, I got a missing tooth on the side. I don't even want y'all to see. But him, he is showing it all. Ain't you? off. I am on my way now to the gym. Do y'all see how dark and dreary it is out now? Like a few minutes ago when I was talking to you guys, like going to get my other grandson, it was sunny. It was so much sun I had to put the visor down. Now it looked like it looked like the world about to come to an end. It's like so dark. There's no sun. I mean, if it's about to rain today, then I'm happy about that because girl, I love, I told y'all so many times, like I told y'all, I love when it be raining out here. Girl, I get tired of the sun all the time. And I'm not gonna say that in a bad way because we need that shit to live. So I'm appreciative and grateful for the sun. But if you see that shit, um, 340 days out of 365 days out of the year, you do be wanting it to be gloomy, okay? You do get tired of it. Out of 365 days out of the year, the sun be shining out here about 320 days. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like 325, 330 days. I'm going to give 35 other days to the gloomy days. And that's not really a lot if you come from the East Coast and it's not sunny like this all year round. So I do get tired of the sun. Plus, the sun make you hot. So I be look, I look forward to the days like this when there ain't no sun. So yeah, we doing this. Um, I hope look, it's 8:14. 8:14. We doing this. We are on our way to the gym. Ain't nothing gonna happen today. Ain't no dead batteries. Ain't no flat tires. <sighs> What else could it be? Like, let me not jinx myself. So we about to walk up into this EO Fitness. It's so gloomy outside. I hope there ain't nobody in the gym. Well, that's that's not going to happen. But it's early, so ain't nobody going to be there anyway. I love when it's early, girl. <sighs> yes, bitch, yes. Um, about to walk up in here. I'm feeling so, like, inspired by what I don't know but you ever have those days where you just feel so good when you get up like I feel like getting up extra early 20 minutes earlier was so helpful to me it boosted up my not my metabolism but it boosted up my energy it made me feel a little bit more like energized and good spirited now I just hope that I don't have to go off on a motherfucker today or say some smart shit because people be always trying People just try us on a daily basis. Not us as in black folk, but you know how people do. They try you. So I hope I don't have nobody trying me. I hope I don't have like no weird motherfuckers at the gym. Yo, there's 20 treadmills available. Why do you have to be at the one right, 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 right next to me? Like, where is it? Where is that okay? We are not a couple. I don't even know you. Like, I thought that shit was so weird. I'm like looking all around like, are you serious right now? Why are you here? Is this a joke? Am I being pranked? Like, I really did think I was being pranked. It's a nice, cool breeze out here, honeys. I feel good. My body isn't so sore from this workout. Two hours. Uh, all this week was legs and abs, like hips, glutes. I even got on that ab crunch thing. Girl, at first I tried it out and I was like, oh my God, I can't even move it. I was looking around like I hope nobody didn't see that. But I figured out how to lift the chair up and take some of the weights off because 
I was stuck. I was like, you know, I know I ain't got, I ain't got no upper body strength. So thank God for instructions on the machines, cause I would be lost. Yeah, go home. I'm really hungry, starving, starving, starving. Getting ready for tomorrow. Just finished doing three videos. But yeah, I just finished doing three wig videos. Normally it would have been like four or five. But you know how something just irritates you and then it just fuck up your whole vibe and then you like, fuck it. I don't even want to be bothered. That's how I felt using one of those damn hairsprays, watching YouTube videos, getting recommendations like, yeah, try that. Try the hairspray. It works so good. Yeah, it holds it down, blah, blah, blah. No, it did not. That hairspray ruined it for me. But yeah, so I just sat down, took my makeup off, took my two cornrows out and brush well I ain't brush my hair yet but um I took my two braids I had four braids so I took those out I'm really gonna go downstairs I want to eat I made some oxtails yesterday so you know leftovers is always good honey y'all my back hurts so bad from working out on that damn machine and I feel like I don't even know what to tell y'all I feel like I feel like somebody done dragged my ass through the mud somebody dragged me through the mud yes Yo, they drag me through the mud. They they literally drag me through the mud is how I feel. So, yes, that's how I feel right now that I was dragged through the mud. I got on this machine. You sit, you hold it, you do crunches. Girl, let me tell y'all, when it first started, I wish I would have recorded that shit, okay? So when I first got on, I didn't know that you could move the seat up. So I got on and I put it to 10 pounds thinking that, okay, 10 pounds is is lightweight. You're going to get, you going to scoot yourself right. You're going to crunch that shit in a heartbeat. Girl, I didn't even get off the ground. I was like, oh, so then I... I so then I put it to five pounds and I, I was I was working it, but it was still a little battle. It was a battle. OK, I realized then you could pull the seat up. So I pulled the seat up, get on. It's a little bit easier. You know, I'm scooching up there and then I pulled it up some more and it got easier. But God damn. Oh, my God. That thing hurts so bad. When I tell you it hurts, it hurts all in my abdomen. It just hurts, honey. It hurts. It just hurts. It feel like somebody dragged me. I feel like I got jumped. I got jumped. Like, seriously, they jumped me and dragged me. I got jumped. That's, that's how I fucking feel right now. Look, Nay looks so cute. Okay, so this is Nay's cuteness. No. Yeah. What was I saying? Oh, yes. That machine, like, I swear to you guys, I don't, I don't even want to work out no more. And I'm waiting for the pain to go away. You know what I'm saying? And because of that pain and stuff, I feel like going outside and having me a piece of cake. <laughs> But I'm not. I'm going to have me some oxtails. Because, look, I'm trying to get my neck back. Like, y'all know what I be telling y'all when I gain weight? I have less of a neck. Like, you see what I'm saying? I, I really don't have a lot of necks to begin with. I have a short neck. Short necks run in my family. Well, my mom's neck is pretty, like, decent. Everybody, you know what? Short necks don't run in my family. I don't even know why the fuck I said that. But, you know what I'm saying? In, anyway, I love you guys. I'll see y'all soon. Bye. Bye.